So let us learn about chart of accounts in Business Central. Hey, watch till the end. So you will be, I'll be discussing about the best practices for the chart of accounts. And the second important thing is like if you wanted to, uh, if you are planning to write MB 800 exam and if you want 50 percentage Microsoft off coupon, then I have a special thing for you. So watch till the end. Don't miss anything. Okay. Okay. So chart of accounts that is COA is a foundational structure for managing financial transactions and reporting. So this is an important thing which serves as a list of all accounts used by an organization to track income, expenses, assets, liabilities and equity. So here, how to access your chart of accounts. So once if you just click on this finance, okay, this is your business central homepage. And once if you click this finance, it will show you chart of accounts. This is one way to access this. Okay. And or else you can also go ahead here for the search icon. Click on that search. Here you can see you can just search for chart of accounts. Okay. So this is also possible. You can use this. Okay. So just click here. Uh, it will load. Okay. So once it is loaded, it has loaded. You can see this is a chart of accounts page. So there are a lot of elements involved in this chart of accounts. And uh, before that, let us first understand, okay, um, why company really need this. So chart of accounts, as I told, which is essential for a company because it forms the backbone of its financial accounting system. Okay, so there are several reasons that a company really needs it like a financial organization, accurate financial reporting, compliance and audit readiness, budgeting and forecasting, transparency and accountability, decision making support, standardization across departments and tracking growth and the performance. So these are the important thing here. Okay, so before we proceed, uh, I would like to tell you that this is my channel. So uh, you can find a lot of useful playlist for the business center for both functional as well as the technical. So here you can see this is for functional. Okay, there is this uh, functional consultant mastering uh, the essentials. Okay, so don't forget to click here. And uh, if you want to join as a member of this channel, you can find a lot of exclusive videos only for the members. And if you are uh, looking to uh, um, uh, like if you are planning to attend any interviews or anything related to MB 800 and uh, business center development, you can find a lot of uh, um, PDF here. Okay, ebooks, you can uh, get it. And if you have any queries, you know, like you can schedule a call with me here. I'll be happy to assist you for your certification readiness, for your uh, queries, your Power BI queries on your, um, if you have any, if you require any career guidance, you can schedule a call with me. So let's just dive in and understand what all these things. Okay. So you have to, if you want to select, if you want to create a new chart of accounts, so you can, you can just click here new. Okay. So once if you click here new, you know, it will ask you for the number. Okay. So this is your general account card. So it will ask you for the number. Sometimes um, if you are uh, uh, developing your chart of accounts, like if you are extending it, so you can make it as a proper numbering or else I can give my own number. So what is this number? If you just move your cursor to this number, it will tell you what is this. Okay. Specifies the number of the involved entry or a record according to the specified number series. <clears throat> so what is this? Uh, what is the number series 100? So 10,000, you have 12,000, you have 14,000, 15,000. So you can just select what is that? Okay. So you can just give what is the number series. So you can just give I'm going to just give 1001. Let's see like whether this number is there. No. Okay. It's there. Um, it's already exists. So 1001010. Let me just give this. Okay. Okay. So name uh, you have to give. What is this name is all about? Just uh, go and click here. So specifies the names of the general ledger, ledger account. So what is the general ledger account? You can just give the name. Okay. And the uh, income balance, what is this, whether it is an income statement or the balance sheet account. So income statement means the these accounts record income from various sources and also track the expenses. If you wanted to record the income from various sources, you have to click here income statement. And this is a balance sheet. Uh, this accounts actually track your company's asset debts and uh, net worth. Okay. So this is like, if you want to track all these things, you have to go with the balance sheet. So 
accordingly you can see the account category as well you have various things like asset liability equity apart from this these are additionally added like income cost of goods sold and expense okay so asset asset accounts in the sense these accounts or uh, track all the valuable resources owned by your company liability means the record of your company's debts equity means uh, represents the residual value of the business after subtracting the liabilities and the assets apart from this you have income accounts okay uh, so income accounts basically divides into uh, 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 like divide into uh, two thing one is a revenue account and the expense account so revenue accounts uh, like uh, these accounts which captures your company income from various sources whereas expense accounts will capture uh, the thing like your, which will capture uh, all your company's expenses okay and uh, talking about um, cost of goods sold okay so the cost of goods sold which is cogs is the chart of accounts which represents the direct cost associated with the producing or purchasing the good goods that a company sell during a specific period so it may involve like a raw material direct labor manufacturing or production cost production purchase cost you know probably so um, this is actually an expense account again okay um, so here uh, it actually it appears under the uh it comes with the expense uh, thing okay and expense of course this is an expense account what you are just spending it and you can select anything from this okay and once you because previously i have made it as income statement but once i have selected asset you know it is it has changed to the balance sheet okay and here account sub category you have to select any sub category from here so since it's an assets okay what is it asset whether it's a prepaid expense you have also mentioned like all these things so these are the general account uh, categories so this is a separate uh, list which is available separately okay so if you want to go and search for that you can just go and search for general account ledger categories okay so you can see this is an another uh, thing which is available okay you can select what is that okay just click okay so you can see here it has changed and the debit or credit whether it is a credit or the debit you can select what it is okay or it is a both accounting type whether it is a posting or a heading or the total or beginner total or i have already explained about all these things like a beginner total or end or total you can find it here okay in the playlist okay uh in this playlist i have explained everything about the general ledger in the general ledger okay you can search for uh general ledger options okay so this is what how to set up your general ledger configuration so you can check it out here um and other than that like totaling everything okay so uh, what are the fields which are mentioned like mandatory you have to definitely enter that apart from this you know you have a specific uh, best practices for chart of accounts okay so this is the best part like a best practices for chart of accounts uh, which are um and uh, i have created as a proper checkpoints okay so the first one which you should always consider is what align with the strategic goals okay so you have to design the coa to meet your company's financial reporting needs and ensure it supports management's decision making process and to talk about start simple okay with a uh, begin with a few general ledger accounts to keep the structure manageable expand later as you if you want to need if you want to capture additional details you can just expand it later okay and then Uh, to talk about is what use headers and subtotals okay as i told like you have to define the headers and the subtotals in your chart of accounts that summarize the internal structure of your general ledger account and the next important thing is use dimensions to simplify your chart of accounts don't have specific general ledger account for each product or department and finally add new general ledger account as they come in but remove accounts from your chart of accounts only during the period only during period end of your finance uh, finance period so 
I invite you to join my exclusive Microsoft Learn Room where I will guide you through essential skills, offer insights into the certifications and provide invaluable resources to boost your career. And of course, I'll be providing you 50% Microsoft exam voucher when you join and actively participate in all the sessions. So yes, here. I can tell you why you should join my learning room. It's like you will learn applied skills. Okay, so gain, gain you can gain practical knowledge and hands on experience with Microsoft technologies. Get expert guide advice on preparing for the achieving Microsoft certification and you will receive 50 percentage exam voucher as well. So once you join my learning room. So here is what how to join. I'll be explaining you through how to join. So this is the link where I'll be I'll give this link in the description. OK, so you can find various learning room. You can just join wherever like uh, uh, which interests you. OK, so this is my learning room. If you just scroll down, you know, you can see. Yes. So this is Microsoft Tech Talks. You can find it here. So you can see if you wanted to learn um, on any certifications, how to uh, go through the certifications and everything, you can join here. So how to join? Uh, just click this particular um, a link. OK, so Microsoft Tech Talks is my learning room, Microsoft learning room. So once if you click here, you know, it will take you through a form. So you have to fill that form and you will get the response within 24 to 48 working hours okay so you have to give your email address give the proper email address uh, to which you have to through which you have to join okay so i can just give uh, some email address this is not exactly i'm not going to submit it okay so i'm just giving an email address okay so you have to uh, so you you, you can uh, enter the email address which is associated with your microsoft learn account okay so it should be like which is associated with the microsoft learn account okay um so i'm just giving this and then you can see what is your first name so you have to give your first name you have to give the last name and click next okay so yes so you have to give the proper ID, click next, it will take you to the next one. You have pre-selected uh, join Microsoft Tech Talks. Would you like to select more? So if you want to select anything else, you know, we have you have already uh, clicked here and uh, right clicked and uh, you are trying to join our learning room. So if you want to select anything more, you can just click S yes, or else you can click no. OK, if you click S, yes, you can see various other learn uh, learning room as well. So this is also um, like we, uh, this is also one of the learning uh, room, which I am a part of it. OK, so you can click here to join here as well. If you want to join anything else, you can click there and then click next. You know, next it will ask you like, how do you um, how did you become aware and or get invited so you can click this invited by learn expert okay so next you can click next and then uh, by clicking i accept so you can you are allowed to this is the last step click i accept and submit then you will be allowed inside um, uh, to into the learning room within one or two working days so please wait till that okay once you have joined then you can just ping me that you have joined you will be join uh, you can message uh, through the teams itself okay so you will be provided with a teams channel link so you can message me through that and then uh, just let me know i'll give you my 50 percentage off and you have to tell me which exam you are planning to do and what is your preparation level and also you should tell me when you are going to write the exam so that is very important so that i can provide you this particular um a voucher okay so uh, do this before scheduling at least like do this before one one week of uh, uh, time gap okay because before you schedule so you have to do these process before a week you schedule your exam okay so that anyhow it will take one or two days to get your uh, get you in in the microsoft learning room and then you have to we'll be uh, talking and uh, you have to tell me like these uh, things like when are you planning to do uh, and everything then i can provide you these things okay so as yes, i wanted to see you all soon in my learning room those who are really aspiring to become 
a microsoft and uh, microsoft professional okay you can do this so what you can expect from our learning room is what interactive session covering a range of microsoft technologies real world applications and case studies networking opportunities with peers and industry experts regular quizzes and activities to reinforce learning okay so complete the form available in the learning room mentioned um so once you have joined you have to uh, contact us okay don't miss the opportunity to accelerate your learning journey and achieve your certificate education goals join our learning room now and take the first step towards a bright future thank you i want to see you soon take care bye bye